hello guys welcome back in today's video i want to show you a method that is guaranteed to allow you to experience length retention in your hair growth journey this video is broken up in two parts so the first part is me making this very moisturizing hair conditioner and the second part is showing me applying the conditioner and styling my hair as you can see we are starting off with avocado Avocado, along with aloe, has been a key staple in allowing my hair to grow waist length. Avocados are extremely moisturizing and nourishing for your hair. They contain natural oils and fatty acids that can really help to alleviate dry hair. Avocado contains vitamin E and is also very moisturizing to the scalp, so this can reduce and minimize dandruff. Shea Nut Oil is a natural emollient and contains high quantities of vitamins A, E, and F as well as oleic acid. This goes along well with avocado as it is also used to treat dry hair. I'm putting in one teaspoon of the Shea Nut Oil and I'm mixing it in with one whole avocado. And next we are adding avocado oil. One of the few oils that can actually penetrate into the hair shaft. So I've always used avocado oil since I've been natural 10 plus years ago. Argan oil contains a high level of antioxidants as well as contains high levels of vitamin E. This is very good in protecting your hair strands. So we're gonna add one teaspoon in this mix. Now we are going to add aloe vera. So the aloe vera is what's going to provide the hydration due to its high water content. Um, aloe is very hydrating for your hair strands. So you'll see me here just cutting up the aloe and removing the layer of uh, like the outer layer the outer layer and we want to cut off the spikes and we also want to soak the aloe for at least 30 minutes because you want to get rid of that yellow latex that's the poison and it can be very irritating if you don't remove that so after we have combined all of our oils avocado and aloe we are, we've blended that. Now what we're doing is we just make sure you wanna strain that because aloe is very fibrous as well as the avocado. And if you don't strain it, you're going to have bits of aloe and avocado in your hair and that takes forever to get out. So please, please, please make sure you properly strain the mix to remove all of that fiber. And I use a cheesecloth for that you can it's best to use like a cheesecloth or something that's like a mesh net that removes all of that fiber so now I'm just showing the texture of the mix it's kind of slimy actually so it's very it's taking on that aloe um, the aloe texture and I just want to just show a sample of putting it this is the front of my hair my bangs and I'm just putting it in my hair, my hair here, so you can see the definition that that is giving. This also provides slip, and it's also great for detangling the hair. So my fingers are just gliding through my 4C natural hair, and I kind of want to show you guys what my hair looks like. So when it's been braided and it's sort of like clumped up. Um, this is what it looks like so it definitely is shrunk but I just want to show you you know it doesn't look dry right so I always always every day I put a little bit of oil throughout my hair every single day I like to spray my hair with a little bit of water first and then I'll coat it with oil so that's on a daily basis. So my hair is, it never gets a, it never gets a chance to be dry. Well, I don't give it that chance because when the hair is dry, that will make it break. It's going to be brittle and it will eventually break off. So the key is keeping your hair moisturized, putting a little bit of oil, not a lot, in your hands and just putting it throughout the hair and make sure that you first spray it with some water or aloe juice. 
initially before putting that oil in. Okay, so even though I have oil throughout my hair, before I put this mix in, before I wash it, I always make sure to put a little bit of avocado oil. So it sort of acts as like a, I don't want to say a pre-poo, but it sort of, what it does is it conditions the hair. So I'm putting this avocado oil all throughout my strands. I go through over and over again until I feel like all of my hair strands have been coated. So now I'm going to add the avocado mix here into my hair. So the first one that I had, it was frozen and I did not, um, it didn't thaw in time. So I actually had to make a new one. So this one is a little bit more watery. I had a little bit more aloe there. So anyway, as you can see, I am placing that mix all throughout my hair. This is the conditioner. Putting it on, make sure you put it on from root to tips. You want to make sure you fully coat the ends of your hair and the full length, but I'm really saturating the ends since these are the oldest part of your hair and definitely needs all the love that it can get. And you want to leave this mix on for about an hour. This way it can penetrate and soften your hair. Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> so anyway, right now I am rinsing the product out of my hair. So after it's been sitting on my hair for an hour and I'm, I wash my hair in twists, but as you can see, it's, you know, it's out of the twist, right? So I like to wash it in sections. And when I wash it in sections, I'm actually gently detangling the hair. This is the biggest thing. So a lot of people, they lose hair during the washing process and also during the styling. You have to be extremely gentle. And so now I've finished removing the product and I'm just going in there lightly finger detangling. So I've placed my hair in these three sort of sections because I'm going to braid this piece up. I don't like to twist my hair when it's in a protective style. The braiding really helps to stretch my hair. The more your hair is stretched, the less it will shrink up into itself and the less knots and the less breakage, the, the less tangles you will have. And here I'm just showing for this one sort of section, this is how much hair that was shed from this one section. Okay, I'm just dancing here, having fun. All right, just showing my length and then, up. Oh, I didn't show the part where I added avocado oil, so I, after the shower, after rinsing the deep conditioner, I add another layer of avocado oil and then I add my, that was my shea butter aloe mix. And so now I'm just, I've just braided my hair up and I'm going to add this castor oil avocado mix to the ends. You could also add, add aloe. You've made it this far. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I love making these videos for you guys. I do this on a monthly basis, but also follow up with a weekly regimen. I will link those videos.